All right, now we know more or less everything about the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. And uh, you may be wondering whether you should upgrade your S23 Ultra to S24 Ultra, or uh, you may be rocking S22 series or the predecessors of S22 series, and may be thinking whether you should upgrade to the S23 series, uh, S23 Ultra, or the S24 Ultra. Now, I thought I'll make a quick video and help you guys decide on this topic. This will be purely my thoughts and opinions, and you can also share your thoughts and opinions. Drop a comment and let me know whether you are planning to upgrade from your existing Phone, which phone are you rocking and which phone you are upgrading to? Is it the S23 Ultra or the S24 Ultra? Now, let's go ahead. First, let's talk about the design of the S24 Ultra. It's actually as same as the S23 Ultra, sharp corners and boxier except for the display which is almost flat, which in my opinion is perfect. I always had an issue using the back gestures on the S23 and S22 Ultra, especially when I use the phone without a case. So this new display should be good to use. The frame is going to be titanium on the S24 Ultra, whereas the S23 Ultra has aluminium frame which is perfectly fine to me. Yes, the titanium frame makes the phone a little lighter like we saw on the iPhone 15 Pros. However, in terms of the durability, it may be strong on papers, but if the phone hits the ground from a certain height and in a bad angle without a case, it will definitely crack. So it's not a big deal to have a titanium frame in my opinion. So these new changes may not be a deal breaker when it comes to design. Now, as far as the brightness on the S24 Ultra is concerned, it's going to be 2600 nits, whereas on the S23 Ultra, it is about 1750 nits. On papers, definitely there is a lot of difference, but when it comes to real life usability, I think 1750 15 nits of brightness on the S23 Ultra is pretty good. I don't see any issues and I don't think this is going to be a big deal either. Now coming to the cameras, we are going to see two major upgrades on the S24 Ultra. The first one is the improved low light photography and a 50 megapixel 5x telephoto cameras. Now the improved low light photos and videos is definitely welcome but when it comes to the 5x telephoto, I'm not sure how many of you guys would consider this as a downgrade. If you are one of them, do drop a comment but before that, hear me out. Samsung might have downgraded the zoom capability from 10x to 5x however they are offering a 50 megapixel sensor for the 5x optical zoom which means you can get better crisper shots on 5x and crop it to 6x 7x 8x 9x 10x whatever x you want and still get a good image quality that's something to note here except for the 50 megapixel telephoto lens the rest of the lenses will remain the same there won't be any major differences here in the camera lens section as well but yes the low light photography would be something to consider here now coming to the batteries on the s24 ultra it's going to rock a 5000 mAh battery which is as same as the S23 Ultra's battery. The battery performance on the S23 Ultra has been pretty good. I'm getting close to about 8 to 9 hours of screen on time on the S23 Ultra so there is no issue at all. So I am expecting the similar battery performance on the S24 Ultra as well. So not much of a difference there. Then comes the processor. The processor on the S24 Ultra is going to be Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 and I'm assuming that the Exynos variant might come only on the S24 regular and the S24 Plus. Uh, on the S24 Ultra it's going to be Snapdragon Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 in almost all the region. And when it comes to the performance of this chipset, obviously it will be better processor with AI capabilities. However, in my opinion, for a moderate to even a heavy user, the difference in terms of performance is not going to be much when compared to the S23 Ultra. Now, the most important upgrade on the S24 Ultra is going to be the AI. Now, AI is everywhere and we are going to see that on Samsung Galaxy S24 series as well this time. There are many new features based on artificial intelligence is coming to S24 Ultra and that is going to be a big upgrade here. The S23 Ultra will have new features such as generating wallpapers through AI, combining two different images by copying a subject from one image and pasting it on another, relocating a subject on an image, auto formatting large notes to bullet points on Samsung Galaxy Notes application, translating any language on the call through Samsung text call feature, voice focus feature etc are going to make this phone incredible. Now do note that most of these AI features are going to be exclusive to the S24 Ultra and I don't see all these features uh, coming to the S23 series or the S22 series. Let's see maybe when we get the One UI 6.1 on the S23 series and S22 series we will get to know which are the features which are coming to these phones. I'll keep you guys posted so stay tuned and be sure you subscribe to the channel. Now looking at all these hardware and software upgrades on the S24 Ultra I feel this is definitely an upgrade but it is not something which can compel one to upgrade from the S23 Ultra. Not because S23 Ultra is just a year old phone but because the upgrade on the S24 is minor and there is nothing revolutionary or not a game changer. So still the S23 Ultra is one of the best phones Samsung ever made and you better stick to it for as long as you can. Next, what if you own a Galaxy S22 Ultra? or any other Samsung or non-Samsung Galaxy phone. Should you go for the S24 Ultra or the S23 Ultra? That depends on the price and your budget as well. 
The price of the S24 Ultra is expected to be starting from 1199 US dollars, whereas the price of the S23 Ultra is going to be slightly lesser. And if you wait for a couple of more months after the launch of the S24 series, you will get some great deals for the S23 Ultra as well. And if you don't have a budget constraint, then yes, the latest is the best. You can go for Galaxy S24 Ultra. But if you're considering the price and your budget, then yes, S23 Ultra is something which you should pick, if not now, maybe after a couple of months from now. And if you're upgrading from the predecessors of the S22 series, then of course the S24 is the best choice for you, latest is always the best. Now these are just my suggestions, my thoughts and opinions. So let me know what do you think, which phone do you own right now and also let me know whether you are planning to upgrade to any of these phones or not, drop a comment. And yeah, one more thing which is more interesting is the One UI 6.1. I have already posted a couple of videos on One UI 6.1 features uh, on the channel. If you have missed those videos, go ahead and check out the links in the description. There are some exciting new features coming to the S24 series and most of those features or some of those features might land on the S23 series as well. As and when we get the update, I will keep you guys posted. So do not forget to subscribe to the channel. That's all I want to share with you guys. Thanks for watching. My name is Salian signing off. Cheers. Bye-bye.